Now, all of us have heard of a heart attack, but recently we received a question about why do they treat heart attacks with aspirin and or nitroglycerin, and what's the difference between those two medications? Well, to understand how those medications work, let's see what's going on during a heart attack. So this is the left coronary artery, and you can see it branching onto the heart muscle itself. It's gonna deliver that oxygenated blood to the heart muscle. We also have the right coronary artery right here. But a heart attack or myocardial infarction is when one of these coronary arteries or one of their branches gets blocked with a clot. And let's say if there's a clot right there, that blood couldn't make it past that clot as effectively or maybe not at all. And then the heart muscle downstream from that clot could potentially die off. So aspirin is known as something that's an anticoagulant or sometimes they refer to it as providing antiplatelet therapy because it will help prevent the formation of clots. So that's one reason why you give aspirin for a heart attack. Nitroglycerin, on the other hand, is a powerful vasodilator, meaning it will cause these arteries to vasodilate and open up. And that would help restore blood flow to that area of the heart that's being blocked off by a potential clot.